Most people would take mid to upper 50s for early February. Oh yeah, it's nice and it's going to be even warmer tomorrow with highs that are expected to be in the 60s for your Thursday and your Friday. We also have some rain that is on the way. You see the skies there over Winston Salem and they are cloud filled this afternoon and we're going to be pretty cloudy heading into tonight, tomorrow, Friday. I do think we'll get some breaks in the clouds by the time Saturday rolls around. We do have winds picking up. That's in the forecast. Warmer temperatures, rain returning, isolated flooding as a possibility, especially in our westernmost communities where we do have some snow melt that's still going to be taking place with temperatures in the 50s. Much colder air in the forecast for the weekend, and we've got our eyes on another coastal storm. I'll let you know how that may affect us coming up. We've got temps right now in the 30s in the mountains. We are closer to 50 degrees at this hour across the triad. We were in the mid 50s earlier today. Our winds have been very light. Now we're anticipating that they're going to stay less than five miles an hour overnight and into tomorrow morning. So that means once again with those light winds, we anticipate that smoke to kind of spread out across the Piedmont Triad. It could be pretty thick overnight as well as some fog in the area and some rain in our forecast. The best chance of rain is going to be to the west in the mountains and we do have some scattered rain showers in the forecast tomorrow morning in the Triad. You notice just a little bit of light rain trying to move in right now. So we've got some very light rain sprinkles coming up by 40 toward Davie County. We also have some moderate rain around Trap Hill that is lifting north and east in the general direction of Dobson there in the western part of Surrey County. You go on the other side of the mountains and that is where the heavier, steadier rain is and that'll be moving in. So we've got impact days to talk about tomorrow and Friday. Scattered showers developing tonight continue Thursday and Friday. We'll have periods of rain, so there will be some lulls. And yeah, you'll have some time to get out where maybe it's not pouring. Beneficial rain, so one to two inches higher in some spots in our western communities as we could get some heavier downpours. Here's your 12 hour forecast for tomorrow. We start in the 40s, so it's not terribly cold. We get into the 60s tomorrow afternoon, so that's pretty mild. The winds will start to pick up some late in the day out of the south, about five to 10 miles an hour. Best chance of rain for most folks is going to be morning and midday then becoming a little showery in the afternoon. For the foothills, high rain chances in the morning, lesser amounts in the afternoon, a mild day with temperatures in the mid 50s. For the mountains, we may make it up in over 50 degrees as well, so a lot of that snow is going to melt. Winds in the mountains really start to pick up out of the south at about 10 to 25 miles an hour. So if you look at future winds, they're light again in the morning. By tomorrow afternoon, starting to turn out of the south and west at about 5 miles an hour. And then really picking up 10 to 20 mile an hour winds by late Thursday into Friday morning. So those winds could be an issue too in fighting that fire toward the latter half of this window. But hopefully the rain will help and there's plenty of it on the way. So if you look at this, you're going to see kind of waves tomorrow morning pretty heavy across the area through midday. Then by afternoon, we'll start to see it kind of thinning out with temperatures into the 60s. Then we'll likely get another wave that comes in here Thursday night into Friday morning. And Friday does look pretty wet across much of the central part of North Carolina. So that takes you right there through most of the day on Friday. Then we're waiting to see about a storm system that's going to move along the coast. I will tell you that some of our long range information is having that storm stay a little farther to our east. So I've dropped that snow mix down to 20% for Sunday. Hopefully we'll keep moving in that direction. You're watching WXII 12.